other sales coaches might use different acronyms like, I don't know, Cordon Bleu or Escabeche. Hello Real Estate, George here, a unit manager from Philippine Homes and a PRC accredited and DHSUD registered salesperson. So today let's talk about closing techniques in real estate. Now these techniques may not be new to you especially if you have closed a lot of sales but for real estate practitioners that are just starting, I know that closing your first sale can be one of the most satisfying experience you can ever have and in this video I will help you achieve that by sharing with you the closing technique using the worth it method. Now if you feel that you need to take note of the things that I will be sharing, don't worry because I will be writing these worth it techniques in the description below. Let's begin. So the first worth it technique, it starts with letter W. W means with urgency. Now this can be in the form of ma'am, this is the last unit facing the amenity or sir, there will be price increase this week and even new projects with multiple inventories available, you can create an urgency by saying to your client, ma'am, this is the perfect time to get a unit because you can still choose the best unit available for you. Either it's facing the east or overlooking the city and the price is still affordable. Now this technique works because it creates a sense of urgency and can help expedite the decision making process of the buyer. Now of course you should always pitch the value before offering a discount or promotions. Next letter is letter O. O means overview technique. Now this is another technique that basically reiterates all the important points your client raises and visualizing what they want through the property you are offering. Example, sir, this one bedroom condo is just perfect because it complements your lifestyle. You mentioned about your preference for high floor and this one bedroom is on the top floor and facing the serene mountains of Cebu. You also mentioned that you work at night and don't want the sunrise or the noise in the lower floor to disturb your rest. The key here is by summarizing previously agreed upon points into one impressive package, you're helping prospects visualize what they're truly getting out of the deal. Now the third letter is R which means resist being salesy. You might have heard that one of the best technique in closing a sale is not to sound like you are closing a sale. Everybody likes to buy but nobody likes to be sold at. Now give your client time to see the layout of the showroom and give them time to think. You don't need to talk all the time and when you talk always take it from the perspective of your potential client. Don't forget to ask questions so your discussion will have a direction. And the next letter is letter T which means think positive. Never underestimate the power of positive thinking. If you believe you can close the sale, your potential client can feel it. Your positive energy should be contagious. Now this technique is effective especially when you talk to your potential client personally or through a video conference. You observe your potential client's reaction and gestures with the information you provide. Do they look interested or is looking to move on? You ask follow-up questions based on their gestures like, Sir, does this information align with what you're looking for? Or ma'am, does this project meet your expectation? And always smile and be cheerful. Not only will it make the atmosphere lighter but it makes the decision making faster. And the next letter is letter H which means honesty. Most of the time we only showcase the highlight of a condo or a housing lot. Now that's not wrong but it's not completely right. Only talking about this side will not allow you to close a sale and even if you close a sale, you are putting yourself in a potential problem with your client. Why? Because it is not the whole truth. We don't talk about the downside because we lack information. We are afraid the potential client will back out or we don't know how to relay this so that it won't sound bad. To make this technique effective, you need to address potential objection in advance. Do not wait for it to be raised. Now, this gives you the impression that you care. This gives you the impression that you did your research. But instead of emphasizing the objection, you put more time explaining on how to go about it. Or better yet, convert a disadvantage into an advantage. The next letter is letter I which means ignore canned closing technique. Canned closing techniques is a bad idea if you are to close a sale because it can give an impersonal impression. I understand the value of a canned response especially as we go through the qualifying process of our prospect and generating leads. It makes us more efficient using a single response across the same multiple inquiries. 
but once the communication progresses and you will shift from pitching to closing you need to change gear for this technique to be effective you must address the potential client with their first name especially if you are in the same age or if they are older you can refer to them as ma'am or a sir if they have titles like attorney or engineer or doctor address them that be a good listener so you will know when to start closing or if you need to take a step backward especially if there is a need for clarification do not force but always attempt to move forward do not be desperate but you must be firm work with the pace of your client but at the same time guiding them towards deciding and the last letter is letter t which means take time to ask questions this is a common pitfall especially for agents that are very knowledgeable about a property they cannot stop talking this technique is effective when you ask more questions and give your potential client time to think and visualize probing questions like may I know the purpose of buying this property what is the budget range or do you need it now or are you okay with the pre-selling project does it have to be in the city or nearby city is okay now effective salespeople focus on making the conversation client-centered instead of project centered different clients see the same property differently some may like a house with a swimming pool while some see it as unnecessary some may like an overlooking view while some are afraid of heights that is why it's very important to listen what they want instead of trying to impress them with what you know there is a big difference now this worth it technique are just bits of information that can help you get started other sales coaches might use different acronyms like I don't know cordon blue or escabeche but remember being skilled at closing is arguably one of the most important techniques a salesperson can master and if you would want to know more or you would want to start a career in real estate you can reach out to my fellow Filipino homes real estate practitioners in your area or you can message me directly so there you have it and I hope you learned something new. Once again, this is George Ryan Sarmago, Unit Manager from Filipino Homes. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay at home, and peace.